Hi YouTube world, it's Adrian here. I wanted to jump on because I'm so excited about this that came in the mail. It is my Lisa Eldridge purchase from her spring summer collection and I'm so excited. Um, I love her products, I love her lipsticks. Um, I was so excited to see a different release from her with the cheek serum blushes and the highlight and some more lippies and so I thought I would jump on <laughs> and give this a shot. I was about to take up like a nap. Um, I don't know. I'm 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 a napper now. What happened to me? It's aging. Aging nap makes you like revert back to childhood when you napped. Um, I'm gonna bust this open and hop back on and let's let's try some of this stuff. So I I purchased five items. I know, it's so crazy. It's like the only look luxury, I think, price point where a release comes out and I actually purchase it before waiting for a review of another person. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about Lisa Eldridge. I just I, I love her. I just love her. She is just, like her makeup aesthetic is oh, the best, the best. And she's taught me so much in terms of makeup application. I think she's very generous with her knowledge and I, I'm just, yeah, I'm happy for her success because she seems like a very sincere, lovely person. Um, I picked up two of her blushes, one of the highlighters and two of the lipsticks, um, the Lucent lipsticks that she released. Now, if you're curious about her velvet lipsticks, I have quite a lot of them and I will link a video down below where I swatch all of them. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm going to focus on this. Um, also in that lip video, I do have a Lucent lipstick in Love of My Life and um, I also got a lip kit with a lip liner and her lip gloss. I have two of her lip glosses. So I don't want to be redundant. I just want to add to my first impressions or what I think of um, her products. And so let's start with the cheeks. I have a little bit of color on my cheeks, but nothing too crazy. My makeup is pretty worn down by this point. Um, I received the colors Venetian Red and Pink Soap. And I picked these because I felt like these would be interesting colors in my collection. And so I saw her video and she really encourages putting on just one drop. So this feels very oily. I wonder if it has to be mixed. So I put some on right now, but it seems as though the oil, there was like an oil film I'm trying to shake it, or better yet, I will try to massage it a little bit in the tube and see how that goes. I wanted to use my e.l.f. brush to apply this. So let's just swatch that. Whoa, that is real pigmented. I put a lot on, but mainly because that oil had separated, so I didn't want to waste product, and inevitably, I wasted a lot of product. Let us just dab a little bit on my brush. Oh, wow, that wasn't even that much. Oh, oh my goodness. This is pretty. So I just lightly dabbed the side of my brush. I could see why in her videos it was you only needed the slightest amount. I feel so bad that I wasted all of this product. Shoot. This time maybe using my finger just to see what that's like. Oh, goodness. It's such a nice formula because it, it's very thin, highly pigmented, and when you, it blends out like a dream. And I mean, obviously I went for a much more um, dramatic effect because I had gotten so much on my skin, but whoa, that is really pretty. 
And I don't have a color like this. It's why I picked this, because I do have quite a lot of colors. I have all of the Glossier cloud paints, and I wanted something real different. So that is Venetian Red High Pink Soap. And I'm going to see if this one has the same issue with the oil kind of having separated. No, this one was perfectly fine. So there was a little bit of that oil at the very beginning. You could see the trail there. And let's just blend that out on my hand and see how that goes. I just thought that was such a pretty neutral pink color. And this one might not be so easy to show up on my skin right now because I do have a little bit of blush. But oh no, it is showing up. And I'm using the other side of the brush that didn't have any product. And I'm just taking that all the way up to my temples. Oh, that's a beautiful neutral color. And it just blends out so easily. It creates the prettiest wash. So that is pink soap. They're not actually that far off on my skin tone. This is almost like a, a very friendly day-to-day -day kind of color and then this is much more punchy but I'm looking at them straight on and there there isn't a huge dramatic difference which I like because I think that they're very flattering this is a very flattering color on me I will obviously be wearing these I will let you know how they wear in the heat you know a full a full test but um this is really just a first impression and the packaging is really nice i just want to make mention of it it's a nice squeezy tube and it has a little transparent um kind of window so that you could see what color it is just very clean simple packaging i appreciate that future me i just wanted to keep tinkering around with colors and see if i could get with my Glossier Cloud Paints, these shades, because I do feel like formula-wise, the blush, although much smoother and sort of easier to apply than Glossier Cloud Paint, though Glossier Cloud Paint is pretty easy to apply. Um, I wanted to show you, I was doing a swatch fest here. So this is the Lisa Eldridge Venetian Red here, and this is actually three different cloud paints combined. I combined to create that color, the shade Haze, Eve, and Storm. All three of these, with varying degrees of amounts, got me to the Venetian Red. So I just wanted to make mention of that. If you happen to be someone like me who has the whole collection of Glossier Cloud paints, uh, let's be smart. On the pink soap, a little more difficult to create. This is puff, this is dusk, this is a combination of puff and dusk. I feel like I could get there if I started to add maybe a little bit of haze in the mix. Look at that, I did it. <laughs> so here, this is pink soap and this is my mixture. Now, in order to get this mixture, I combined puff, beam, dusk, and haze. So it's four different cloud paints. Just want to show you all of all of them. So I had to combine a little bit of all of these cloud paints to get to that Lisa Eldridge color. So again, I'm pretty happy that I picked these colors because to remember the exact amount to mix, I probably won't remember, but I just wanted to hop back on and kind of address that um, in case anyone at all is curious out there and likes the Glossier Cloud Paints. I think if you like the Glossier Cloud Paint, you're going to like this cheek product. Uh, anywho, okay, I'm really signing Next off. Next up, Bye. I picked up the Elevated Glow um, in Crystal Nebula. This is the highlighter. Now this, I'm not like the biggest highlighter fan, but I thought I would give it a shot. And you know what I wanted to do was I wanted to compare it with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless filter because when I looked at this I said oh this kind of looks like Charlotte Tilbury the flawless filter so I have flawless filter in two fair right here 
and then here just so you could see the comparison this is a mini holy cow this is a huge doe foot <laughs> this is the biggest doe foot i've ever seen so let's just put this on the side i don't know how much to put we're just gonna put two dots it's very viscous like it has a lot of almost and look at nice frosted bottle this is the crystal nebula Ooh, that's a pretty like wet glow no shimmer whatsoever it's a pearlescent and let's just put that on and I'm gonna carry that oh my goodness this is very very glowy oh wow wait a second this is beautiful <laughs> Wow, I hope this lasts. We're gonna have to wear this whole day. This is very, I'm gonna put this like on the apples on my cheek. Holy guacamole. Mm. But it's not, it's not like, look, straightforward. It's not any darker. So it's a good highlight and wow, it's, it's so, Pretty. I don't think I needed as much as I initially put on. I will, I will say that. But you know, you can't blame user error on products. So I'm gonna try the Charlotte Tilbury to see how it compares. I'm gonna put it right next to it. So gosh, I put a lot on that. Two. Let's. Hmm. So here's the Charlotte Tilbury, and here was the. Lisa Eldridge. Wow, okay. I don't have enough experience with the Charlotte Tilbury one. Because that also is beautiful. There's a slight, there's a little bit more reflect, more kind of dewiness on the Lisa Eldridge side but not by much. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury Fair number two. And this is the Lisa Eldridge. I think the Lisa Eldridge has a bit more punch and the Charlotte Tilbury is the tiniest bit more subtle. But as I suspected when I watched Lisa's video, I do think that this is giving the Charlotte Tilbury a run, a run for her money. Not that she needs it, but you know. Um, so very similar products. This is when I apply highlight, this is my preferred type of highlight. I like to kind of look a little, like I have a little oil on my skin, like I've been running a little bit, even though I don't run. Last but not least, I picked up two colors. The first is Dance Card, and if you've never seen the packaging of of Lisa Eldridge again, gorgeous packaging. And here is the lipstick and dance card and it has a nice magnetic closure. I love her lipsticks. This was a coral that I thought would be a lot of fun to have in my collection. I hope this looks good. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. Hello. This lipstick formula is so comfortable. It's extremely hydrating, hydrating, and it feels hydrating on the lips, but it doesn't, it's not crazy slippy. Like, I feel like it has enough grip. I'm familiar with this formula because I have Love of My Life, which is a much pinker color. Let me, um, let me bring it out. I brought out Love of My Life so we can do a little swatch comparison. Um, so this dance card is really pretty. It's a it's a fun, corally pink, especially with like some tan skin and kind of effortless summer summer vibes. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I don't think I have a color like this in my collection, which is why I picked it. I'm trying, man. I'm trying hard not to buy duplicate colors. If I really want to treat myself to a lipstick, I got to pick a, a shade I don't think I have. So 
that's dance card right there. I'm going to swatch for you on my hand, love of my life. So this is the one I already had in this formulation. Again, it's like a glossy, not too glossy, super comfortable. So that's love of my life. And these can be sheared out quite nicely. So I applied it pretty opaquely, but you can blot it down and create more of a stained kind of look. Let me take this off and we're gonna try the last color. Next, next shade up is Painterly. I really liked the combination of Painterly with this Venetian Red. She had quite a few videos regarding the release. She applied the products on multiple skin tones, really beautiful models. The photos are gorgeous, and I just really like some of the combinations. And in one of the model photos, and I will insert it here, I really love the combo of the Venetian Red and this color, Painterly. And so I'm hoping I love this color. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, can you guys see happiness in my eyes? Like as I'm trying, <laughs> as I'm trying this on, I get so excited. Mmm, I really, really like that. In person, I'm looking at my at, at, at the footage, and I'm looking in person, and this actually is much toastier, browner than it's looking it's looking a little more rose i'm wondering if i'm trying to get you can you guys see that well ignore my flaky mascara because as i said i was trying to take a nap and i hadn't washed my, my mascara off but that's this color gosh that's pretty i really like that okay I feel like this is gonna be my number one shade in the fall. It feels very fall-like. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand just so you could see the comparison. But you see it has that same kind of burned, burned with a little bit of red tone as that blush, which is probably why it was paired so well together. Let me see how close, please. I'm back. I was looking at this color saying, I really love this color and it feels very familiar. And I wondered, wait a second. I know a shade in which I had this same response towards and it's in a different formulation, different brand. It is Charlotte Tilbury and it is Walk of Shame or formerly known as Walk of Shame. Now it's Walk of No Shame. And it's this color here. Now, this is a little redder, a little matter, yes, but I'm going to layer up painterly. Yeah, very, very similar in tone. Has a little more brown in it, but again, very close to Walk of Shame. On me, um, almost identical. I know for a fact the Charlotte Tilbury formula, while comfortable, not nearly as comfortable as the Lucent formula, which is just a glossy kind of balm feeling to it. And it does have longevity. Love of my life has good wear. That's this one that I've, I've worn several, several times. And I know that it's a long lasting formula in spite of its creaminess and uh, comfortability. So, yeah, I, I kind of think that they're they're very similar, but I really love this color, especially, especially in the fall. I'm gonna be looking forward to it. So those are my first impressions of the products I bought. Did you pick up anything? Am I the only cuckoo person? I don't think I'm the only cuckoo person because her stuff sells out very fast, but um, I just love a lot of her shades. I just love her story behind each. I feel much more confident purchasing products from her line with all the information she kind of gives me and, and how she just shows the application. I also love, love that she's very thoughtful about her releases. They don't come all the time. 
when they come, there's like, it's like a capsule. It's like a beautiful capsule collection. And so I'm thrilled that I was able to pick up a few pieces and I'm really excited with the colors I chose. I will be wearing these blushes. This highlight is everything. I mean, it's everything. But it's also very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So if you happen to have the Flawless Filter, maybe you wanna finish it up before you go and purchase something like this. I also would love to see how this compares to the Auric highlighter um, that I know is being compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So that is something that's in my mind to purchase in the future. So hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek and uh, we will talk soon. Take care everyone. Bye.